mechanization is topic 4 in agriculture form 4 and the topic has been divided into four parts part one is the title uh, the title itself farm mechanization it starts looking at some of the farm machinery and part two continues to look at the farm machinery and it starts from planters and seeders then part three uh, it looks at factors to consider when mechanizing a farm. Ngati simutaya ntawi yanu kufuna funa mapunziro, muzaka la wotu midwa moyo wanu wansi. Ngati simutunzira, antu wazingo kutumani. Ajala kalime, ajala kuchwe manyazi, ajala katende ya nti. Ndipo antu wapunzira wandu wotu maso kwa mbili. Ndienga tisimupuzira, skulu wa kuigila na haba, mukala otu midwa. Then, uh, other tractor drone implements are uh, planters or seeders. Nowadays, with technology, we can use uh, these implements uh, solely for planting. They are there for planting. So, these uh, implements which are used for planting. Uh, the technology is going too far. Uh, in the near future, only that maybe Malawi is a little bit behind, but in the near future, we no longer need uh, people to be doing this operation of planting or sowing, but rather we'll be using machines. Of course, they are here in Malawi, but there are few. That's why they are not commonly found in most of the farmers but they are there the planters and the seeders so these planters first they will open up the furrow then they will place the seeds in the furrow then they will cover them the machine doing all these are uh, the, these three activities i've mentioned they'll open up the furrow then they'll press the seeds into the furrow then lastly they'll cover them of course, there are two main types of planters or seeders. That's seed drills and precision planters. So this one is the uh, planter, the seed planter. This one should be the precision one, precision seed planter. The seed drills, they drop the seed continuously and, and do not space seeds within the row. So these ones, uh, they will just uh, drop the seeds continuously without uh, making the spacing or not dropping the seeds within the row, but rather they will just drop the seeds anyhow. They are used for planting tiny seeds. Uh, most of the seeds which we can plant them using broadcasting those tiny seeds uh, we can uh, uh, use the seed drills we can use the seed drills so the seed drills are the ones which will broadcast the seeds while precision planter they uh, space the seeds according to the present rate that is measurement uh, space from one seed to another and from one row to another so these ones at least they'll be sowing the seeds uh, uh, according to the uh, spacing needed by the crop you are planting so the planters uh, they can also be used these precision planters they can also be used in applying fertilizer alongside and placing uh, of the seeds and cover them with the soil so while they are placing the seeds into the uh, uh, into the station planting station they may also be used to apply the fertilizer as you are placing the seeds the fertilizer may also be applied alongside so these are used for planting large seed sized seeds for example you can use uh, uh, in planting maize, beans, so on and so forth. So the seeds are passed through a P4 uh, related belt. So there is a belt with some, uh, with some poles uh, where the seeds will pass through. 
So those the belts, uh, the perforated belts, the uh, the pores, most of the times are spacious and uh, depending on the type of uh, the plant you are going to grow. Another tractor drone implement is a mower. Mowers are mainly used for cutting glass. Uh, however, they can be adapted for harvesting tea and cereal crops such as wheat. Uh, they can also be used in weeding, more especially uh, in uh, an orchard. In an orchard, the two common types of mowers which we can use are reciprocating mowers. Lotale mowers. Sometimes we call them agro uh, mowers. Then we have uh, cultivators or weeders. These are implements used in tilling the soil after the emergence of uh, the crop. So they are uh, they are common. There are four common types of uh, uh, cultivators. These are shovel type, disc cultivators, rotary cultivators, uh, spine time cultivators. The shovel and disc cultivators are trailed uh, implements, while the rotary cultivator and, uh, is mounted and driven by the uh, pit wall shaft. So, this is the shovel type cultivator. Shovel type cultivator. As you can see, uh, at, uh, uh, the, at the tip of the uh, cultivator here, you see the structure which looks like the shovel. Maybe that's why the type of cultivator is called the shovel type cultivator. Then uh, the tractor drone implements, we also have some harvesting machines. These are several machines used for harvesting various crops. We have examples of harvesting machines and these will include combine harvester, forage harvester, maize, sharer, as well as potato lifters. For combine harvester, these ones, they will cut the crop and ramming the grains, uh, threshing off grains, cleaning all winnowing the grains then packing so they'll do all this work they will start to cut the crop uh, uh, ramming the grains uh, threshing off grains cleaning or winnowing the grains then uh, not forgetting packing the grains in uh, the grains in bags and for forage harvesters, they harvest forage crops like sorghum, napier grass, as well as the maize. Then we have some maize sharers. Uh, of course, these are stationary machines used to remove grains from maize crops. So they consist of rotating uh, serrated discs, which scrape the grains from the crops. And if it is a large motor driven shaler, may shale up to 1500 kgs per hour. So it is fast. The larger the uh, motor, the more uh, the maize to be shelled per hour. Then we have some potato lifters. These are machines used uh, to in harvesting root crops such as potatoes as well as Irish potatoes, Irish potatoes as well as sweet potatoes. So they will lift tubers from the soil and help in collecting them. Of course, uh, I've ever seen uh, uh, other machines which are used to harvest cabbages. Of course, they look more like potato lifters. So there are also there are some of the machines which are used to harvest uh, cabbages. So this uh, this picture here is just showing uh, a combined harvester, and this one is the forage harvester.
this one uh, is the motorized maze shela this one is common almost each and every district uh, uh, there is a motorized maze shela so this one is common here in Malawi and here is the potato digger uh, they will uh, dig the potato as well as even doing the selection so this is the uh, potato digger the picture here is showing the potato digger we may also have tractor drone sprayers. A tractor operated sprayer consists of a tank for holding the chemical, a pump for providing the pressure to spray, and boom for uh, holding the nozzles, which releases thin films of the chemical. So a boom holds uh, nozzles at uh, a suitable distance. They can either be at a fixed or valid length if carried by a number of people along the tractor. So we may also have uh, sprayers which are driven by tractors, tractor drone sprayers. So this is a good example of a tractor drone sprayer. There is a tractor here uh, attached to the sprayer. So this is the container, the container with the, uh, the pipe here at the end, there should be a nozzle here. So it's where the uh, chemicals will be coming out from. So as already mentioned, apart from tractor drone implements, we may also have animal or human drone implements. So these are drawn by drought animals or uh, humans these are implements which are drawn by drought animals or human good examples of drought animals which we can use uh, can be oxen as well as donkeys most of the times they are commonly used by smallholder farmers uh, just because they are cheap to maintain Examples of animal or human drone implements may be ox cart. Uh, we know that ox cart are used for transportation. We may also have mood body plow. Remember, we have tractor drone plow uh, plows, but we also have animal drone plow, like a mood body plow. Uh, we can also uh, it's also a good example of uh, animal drone plow. It is used for tilling the land. We may also have some ridges, though we have tractor drone ridges, but we also have uh, the ridges which, uh, uh, which can be pulled by animals. So they are there for making ridges. We also have hand sprayer for spraying liquid chemicals. So humans are the ones which will carry this hand sprayer. So that's why it is under the human drone implement. We also have hose. These holes should be human drone implements. They are there for tearing the land. Pangas as well, they are human drone implements. Uh, they are there for clearing bushes as well as shrubs. So these are good examples of animal drone implements. For example, we have an ox plow mood board, a mood board plow, an ox plow. This one is a mood board plow. Then we also have an ox cart. Uh, here they are trans uh, transporting hay. So an ox cart is, uh, uh, it is driven by oxen. And uh, having a picture here also showing a hand sprayer, a hand sprayer. So we have the tank here, the pipe with the nozzle where the uh, chemicals will come out. Let us make a summary of the implements or the farm machineries which we have just described above. We, in short, on the implements we have plows and we have mentioned that they are there for tilling the land. Then we have harrows that are there to break soil clothes, or leveling the land and incorporating manure into the soil. We may also have regions. Uh, they are there for making ridges. We have cultivators, they are for weeding. 
uh, ox cart for transporting produce, manure, and farm workers. We also have wood shadow pump, though not mentioned, but this is also a farm machine which is there for irrigating crops. Garden sprayer for spraying liquid chemicals uh, onto vegetables and other uh, crops. Wheelbarrow for transporting manure, farm produce, so on and so forth. A hole for tilling, panga for felling trees. So this is just a summary of some of the farm machinery which can be used in operating uh, some agricultural activities.